Sister, you had such a good share of work. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Blessed Mother. It's nice to see you. Dear all, let's arm ourselves with the five spiritualities. If we are not armed with the five spiritualities, thinking God will protect me, we are absolutely wrong to think this way. But you who are here are the little souls. You came here by responding with Amen to the call of the Lord. Amen. For you who are here responding with Amen to his call, so that you can be armed with the five spiritualities, let me give you some examples about turning our daily lives into prayers. By turning our daily lives into prayers, from the moment we wake up until the moment we fall asleep, we can offer prayer every moment of our lives. From the very moment you wake up, do not think, what am I gonna do today? But immediately apply the holy water and pray by making the sign of the cross. 예수님, 성모님, 성령님, 오늘도 부정한 저와 함께 하소서. 예수님, 성령님, 성모님 다 함께 주시라고 우리가 부르면 됩니다. Jesus, Blessed Mother and Holy Spirit, today also please stay with me and unworthy one. We can ask all of them to be with us. 야, 아빠, 엄마들도 자녀들이 막 해달라고 해주는데 if our children ask for something, we give to them. If they stay still, we wouldn't give anything more. You do more for your child who asks for more, don't you? Thinking of that, we must keep clinging on to the Lord. When you wash our hands, wash our faces, bathe, shampoo, or get a haircut, we can pray while doing countless things like this. When you see others like candles, you can turn it into prayers with a heart that also lights up. A merit of prayers of life is that you can also turn what happened in the past into prayers. What's in the far past and what you forgot to pray, you can also turn into prayers now. If you say out the prayers, it may take long. But if you pray in your thought, you can pray numerous times in just a short time. In 1989, I had a hysterectomy. The reason is, in Lent 1982, I asked for sufferings of atonement. Since then, I have offered up the pains and reparation for abortions committed by others. In a short time, my abdomen becomes swollen and I weigh 8 kg more suddenly. It's known that women gain 8 to 10 kg more normally during the pregnancy. A pregnant abdomen usually swells gradually. 
of my abdomen swells in such a short time, suffering in reparation for other abortions, that all my other organs were compressed because of that. As a result, my uterus and large intestine completely attached to each other. But I didn't realize at first because I just, as always, offered up my sufferings with the purse of life. On a separate day, I went to Naju Hospital for a pain in my nose because there was no ENT clinic. The doctor was reputable. Oh ma'am, please lie down here. Thinking my nose hurts, but why is he telling me to lie down? I lie down anyway, and the doctor started to examine my belly. Ma'am, go and consult the gynecologist immediately. I replied, but I came here for my nose. It's not a problem with your nose. There are two top gynecologists in South Korea. One is at Seoul National University Hospital, and the other is at Yosu. Go there right now. So I went there accordingly, and the gynecologist said, Ma'am, your internal organs are in a total mess like rags. He recommended immediate surgery. I replied that I would come back after preparing for the surgery. At that time, I used to decide everything only after consulting priests first. So I consulted the priests and they advised me to proceed with the surgery. In 1989, back then, we had so many pilgrims from Seoul. I couldn't bear even just a day without receiving communion. I didn't want any of them to recognize me in well-known hospitals like St. Mary's in Gangnam, Seoul. So I admitted myself to Mary Noel Hospital in Busan. At that time, not many pilgrims came from Busan. I told the chaplain priest, please never tell anybody that I'm hospitalized here. Then he promised me. However, on the following day, I was served with wild sashimi every day, even though I couldn't eat sashimi at all. And two sisters from a convent came and began to take care of me. So I asked the priest, why do they keep bringing me sashimi every day? Didn't you have promised me that you would not tell anybody that I'm here? He answered, eating sashimi will help in speedy recovery after surgery. So I asked them to bring you sashimi every day in turns. However, as I couldn't eat it at all, the sisters had the entire plate of sashimi daily. <laughs> Though I wanted to sleep alone at night in that hospital, the two sisters stayed up all night next to me taking turns without sleeping. <sighs> I thought, oh, how could the ancient kings live with their servants keeping their eyes on them all the time? It really tortured me. 
Though I pleaded with them to sleep, they didn't do so. Even when I went to the toilet, they followed me. I dislike this circumstance, but I continue to offer up the suffering with pearls of life. For 10 days, I decided to offer it up without surgery. I was injected with antibiotics for more than 10 times a day. At the same time, I kept fasting and didn't eat anything. How could I relieve myself at ease when the sisters followed me even to the toilet? I can never believe myself if someone's next to me. Those nuns were totally strangers to me. It made it really hard for me to relieve myself. But it was no use even though I pleaded with them. So I kept turning the suffering into purse while meditating on Jesus' passion. After offering up these pains for 10 days, I was almost dying. There was no other choice except the hysterectomy. The gynecologist asked me, when was your last childbirth? It was about 8 or 9 years ago, but I wasn't sure. Are you kidding me? That can't be true with your uterus enlarged like this. The doctor thought she must have had a late operation. He said my uterus was extremely big. <sighs> Then I learned, oh, during a pregnancy, a uterus gets bigger to make room for a baby to grow there. Whenever I'm in pain for the atonement of abortions, my uterus actually expands like that. So I realized this for sure at the time. <laughs> Then Julio told me, Honey, now that you are without a uterus, you won't suffer any more pains in atonement for the sins of abortion. I replied, Well, if God wills it, what can he not do? Fifteen days after my hysterectomy, I went to Chungang Parish Church in Busan. There, I suffered the pains in reparation for abortions committed by others again, and my belly became swollen. Then my surgical wound burst open and I was rushed to a small hospital. It was too hard for me to stay with two sisters in the previous hospital. But this time, there was no one helping me, so Julio stayed with me in the hospital to take care of me. I almost became a mute and couldn't speak a word then. A nun came to see me. She said, I'm here to receive a prayer. My husband said, I'm sorry, sister, but Julia can even move or talk now. What can we do for you? I see. She left the room shortly. At the same time, I was thinking to myself, how many difficulties was she undergoing that she had to ask for prayers from a sick patient? I was thinking to myself, how many difficulties was she undergoing that she had to ask for prayers from a sick patient? 
Instantly, I gave my husband an eye gesture to get the sister back into my room. And while praying for her, the scent of crystal and alcohol became very strong. At that moment, my voice returned and I said, Sister, I guess there are a lot of bitterness in your heart. Your heart broken, aren't you? She said no and denied she had any ill feeling in her heart at first. Then the strong smell of crystal and alcohol even filled the restroom. I said, Sister, you have a lump of bitterness in your heart. And I continued to pray for her and the nun cried a lot. Then she started confiding in me. Forty years ago, some nuns got together to set up the convent. In the early days, they were very poor, so they had to farm and sell tobacco leaves to make a living. While doing that, she had pesticide poisoning and had been suffering from it since then. During her time at the convent, she was hurt badly and bitterness began to fill her heart. That nun was also in charge of the hospital kitchen. She said, actually, I just packed up my luggage and was ready to leave the convent today. I think I can survive the secular world if only I could receive the prayers from Julia Kim, even if once before leaving the convent as a religious. Then I said, Sister, you had such a good share of work. The kitchen is the best place to practice turning our daily lives into prayers. Dear ones, listen carefully. When washing rice, Jesus, please take out all the bad habits from as many souls as the number of these grains and wash away all the filthiness from their souls and bodies. While boiling rice, Lord, let our souls and bodies be fully matured in the love of the Lord and Mother Mary. We must always keep Jesus in our mind. And when you scoop up rice, making the sign of the cross three times with the rice scoop, Jesus, please bless it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Think of the Holy Trinity and Jesus who resurrected on the third day as you are scooping rice up three times. Even with numbers, we can also turn them into prayers. I explained this to her one by one. When you make side dishes, Jesus, I can't do it by myself. Jesus, Mother Mary, please stay with me. Grant me the ability to do it. When you do this together with me, the food will turn delicious. And what about while eating, drinking, and chewing? You should pray that Jesus will crush your ego. I requested the nun to practice praying in that manner daily. And when you make bibimbap, you should make all the vegetables and all the vegetables. 
Also, for bibimbap, various ingredients are mixed into one. If you lived alone, we wouldn't commit sins, but we don't live alone. We live with others who have different ideologies, and their thoughts are not the same as yours or mine. Lord, let us all be merged into one. Help us fulfill the unity. Often, we use many different spices to make the side dishes. What is the most delicious sauce? The sauce of love. It is the sauce of love, right? Too much sesame oil makes it greasy. Too much sesame powder makes it rough. Too much chili powder makes it spicy. And too much soy sauce or salt makes the food salty. It also doesn't taste good if there's not enough. We must use moderate and adequate amount. I told her about turning our daily lives into prayers like this. I asked the nun, you have a lot of dishes to wash, don't you? Of course. If one person is done with a meal, there are two chopsticks, one spoon, one bowl for rice, one bowl for soup, five or six in total. So each time you wash dishes one by one, if you turn them into prayers, please wash away all the filth from our souls and bodies. How many prayers there will be you can offer up? You can also forgive all the people that you've never really forgiven in your life by washing the dishes. Then the nun cried her eyes out and said, I've packed everything already, but I'll unpack it now. Despite the Lord giving me such a good share, I blamed God, saying, Why do I have to do this kind of work? I'm very ashamed of myself, for I have said, Our Lord is my spouse. On that day, the nun was healed from the pesticide poisoning, including all its after effects that she suffered for 40 years. If God wills to do something, there's nothing He cannot do. My mother suffered greatly from people when I worked for the Blessed Mother. When I worked for the Blessed Mother, those who were against Naju brought a big stone to kill my mother. They tried to hit her head with it. Whenever they did so, I turned it into prayers. When we built the chapel, my mother and I cleaned up all the trash on the spot while turning our lives into prayers. Without knowing that the place was a dumping place, we bought the land. As rotten things came out continually, my mother and I took them out while offering up prayers of life,
kick out all bad habits from our souls and bodies. So, from the construction of the chapel, my mother worked a lot, taking out trash one by one, offering the purse of life. This time, I learned one thing I did not know until now. After souls go up to heaven, isn't it alright that I don't pray for them anymore? I thought like this, but it is incorrect. Whenever we offer Masses for them, they're getting closer to Jesus and the Blessed Mother. Whenever we offered Masses for them, I saw them getting closer step by step to them. So let us all go to the way with the five spiritualities. All can be applied into prayers of life, offering up and amen. All of our five spiritualities are connected to each other. Since I offered the purse of life and responded with Amen, the nun was healed. Otherwise, Jesus wouldn't have done it. Because I will to do so earnestly with the purse of life, the Lord did it. So, dear ones, do it with love. Jesus will grant your prayers. If you ask earnestly, Jesus will intervene and do it for you. We as human beings can never do it. How can we human beings do what a doctor couldn't do? However, the Lord can do it. If we practice the five spiritualities and the pearls of life in our daily lives, we can stay awake all the time. Dear ones, while living our daily lives, we've been hard, tired, and agonized. Economical difficulty, physical pains, and our souls were agonized, sick, and exhausted. Today, let us completely sink into the love of the Lord and Blessed Mother, be dissolved in it, and become one with the Lord. It's still not too late. It's just the beginning. Dear all, let's make efforts together in the love of the Lord and Blessed Mother with the prayers of life every moment of every day. Although I'm unready, feeble, and trivial, I'll start with you all. The soul who was lost and wandered. Father, please accept me. I want to be healed on my innermost heart. I entrust my distorted, wounded soul to Father, my coagulated soul. Father, please melt it away. Father, with the secret blood that you shed, Father, 
with the precious blood that you shed. Please wash away my filthy dirt. Please collect all my evil habits. Father, please wash away my ugly sins. Please heal my sick soul. Who else knows? The time when I've been in tears. Here I take out the deep wounds from my cold hearted past. My wounded and painful past. Lord, please remove it. My past heart. Lord, please heal it. Father. Please heal my pains. Father. Please heal my heart. In this scary world, whom should I trust? Father, please heal my pains of the past. Please heal my painful memories. I was wounded by my beloved ones and suffered pains of betrayal. The bitterness sits deep in my soul. Offer up all the pains of my past to you, Mother. With Amen and Semchigo, you let me offer this up, Mother. Please heal me with turning our daily lives into prayers. Mother, with the spirituality of it's my fault, you have led me. You embraced me tightly in your arms. Mother, You allowed us to obtain the tree of eternal life by purifying us with the five spiritualities. <laughs> 